Hi everyone, this is Zia Maliki. Today I want to show you how you can get Microsoft Office including the most popular programs such as Word, Excel and PowerPoint entirely for free. It won't cost you anything at all. So here I am on my desktop. I will show you two different methods how you can get Microsoft Office for free. The first method how you can get Office apps is through your web browser. So whether you are using Windows 10, whether you are using Mac, whether you are using Linux or Chrome OS, whatever operating system you use, you will be able to take advantage of this trick. Just open up your favorite browser. I'm gonna go to the new private window. What I'm gonna do is we are gonna go to the website called office.com. So office.com is how you are gonna get to the place where you can use office for free. So on the office.com website, you will see two different options. One is get office and the other option is sign in. Now if you click on get office, that will take you to their marketing site where you can purchase the offline version of the office or you could purchase a subscription. But we want to get a free office. To use a free office, what we are gonna do is we are just gonna click on sign in. Make sure you click on the button that says sign in. Once we do that, we are gonna get the sign in prompt. Now if you don't have a Microsoft account, don't worry, it is very really easy to make one. Creating an account is entirely free. It doesn't cost you anything to create an account. I already have one, so if you have a Skype account or any other account with Microsoft, it will work. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my account, zia.maliki. I'm gonna click on next. Now it wants me to enter the password. We are gonna go ahead and type in my password. You can click on keep me sign in if you don't want to sign in again in the future. So what it does is it signs me in in the office.com website and you will be able to see a few different things in here. You know I have all these different options. The first one says start new. So I'm gonna click on this. What you will see is that I can create a Word document, I can create an Excel worksheet, I can create a PowerPoint presentation and there are also other stuff that I can create from here. So why don't we go ahead and create a Word document. I'm gonna click on Word document. It's gonna open a brand new document for me. So here I'm in the Word document interface. I will rename the document to something else. I will call this Ziamaliki. So here I am in my document and I can type anything I want. Welcome to Information Technology YouTube channel. We can apply different styles and headings and all typical functions as you would do in the normal Microsoft Word application. So I am gonna go back. What you can see is I can also click on this word tile. So I will click here. This will open up the Word Start page. Here I have a whole bunch of templates that I can choose from. And here I have a list of my recent documents that I have been working on. I could also see the Pen and Share With Me tabs. I could also click on Microsoft Excel. Looks very really similar to the Start experience for Word. Then here I could also click on PowerPoint and you get the idea that we will get all different apps. One of the things that I love about office.com is I have a recent list of all my documents down here that I have been working on. I can click on here and I can pin it. I can remove it from the list. I can open the file location and many things I can do with the file. One other thing that I can do is that, let's say that you have a document you have been working on on your computer and now you want to work on that using office.com. Let me go back to my Ziamaliki document. What I could do is I can click on the file menu and within the file menu there is an option that says save as. 
And when I click on save as, what I could do is I can download a copy. It will just download the document into my machine. I can also get it as a PDF file. And there are other formats that you can choose from. Let's say you don't want to leave your file in the cloud. You can also just get it off. So all these applications, the Word, Excel and PowerPoint are available online. Which means you will need an internet connection to be able to take advantage of it. As long as you have internet connection, you have a browser, you can use it anywhere entirely for free. Now if you want offline access though, that's when Microsoft charges you. So as you can see this install office button on the top right hand corner. So if I click on it, I can see this little message saying go premium. So if I want the app on my computer, then I have to pay for it. And there is also another option here, buy office 365 on the top right hand corner. So I could do that as well. Now I'm gonna show you the second method which is an app that comes with your PC or Windows 10 operating system. So what you do is you simply click on the search area down here in the windows and type in office. It should pop up on the top of the search. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the office app and it loads the office app now. I'm in the app now, as you can see, it's quite similar to the office.com. There are still some differences though. In the office app of Windows 10, I see a lot more documents under the recent tab than what we would see on the office.com. And the reason is because I have a lot more documents on my computer. So the office app is not only showing me my cloud documents, but it also shows me documents that are on my computer. I actually like the office app because not only I see cloud documents, but I could also see the local documents on my machine. So that's how you can get office for free and without any cost. That's all I have for you in this tutorial. Hope you have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe the channel for more technology videos. See you again.